All right, moving on to our next Patreon request. And this one comes from my good friend, uh, Chris, a.k.a. The Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again for your patron, uh, pa for this request and continued patronage. Ugh, tongue tied. And yeah, so this was one of the uh, Patreon requests he sent me uh, not too long ago. And um, this one's a fun one, because as you can see, we're going to have a good old-fashioned uh, Marvel DC uh, crossover. Yeah, we're going to have a good old-fashioned Marvel DC crossover. So, for here, um, this is going to be it, this is going to be a lot of fun because we got Steel and Black Panther. So for this, in honor of the classic Marvel DC cro uh, Marvel DC team ups, uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a uh, kind of like in the vein of like the old school Marvel DC crossovers, where they're in a universe where the Marvel superheroes and the Batman uh, and the Marvel and DC superheroes existed in the same Earth. So that's what we're gonna kind of do, kind of like with Batman, ver uh, Batman, Spider Man, and Superman, Spider Man, and a uh, few other like the D T uh, Teen Titans, Daredevil crossover too. So anyway, so let's get started. So this story begins in Metropolis, and John Henry is uh, protecting Metropolis while Clark is out on a mission in space with the Justice League. So he's been he's been guard he's been looking over alongside Kara and, and you know John and the other members of the Superman family, watching over Metropolis while Superman's gone for the time being. What John is up to right now what John is currently up to right now is following the lead on a ver on a group on a lead on Intergang, and Intergang has been basically they've been doing what they always do, stockpiling weapons. But this time, they it, um, John has been understanding that he's come to the understanding that they're not just getting weapons from the normal sources, like from Apocalypse or something. They're getting it from an unknown third party. And that's and they have no idea who that unknown third party is. So John crashes into an inner gang base, and it's revealed that yeah, they have weapons made of vibranium, and they immediately like dis like these weapons these inner the inner gang members led by Bruno Mannheim, um, they use these weapons on steel and immediately like just disable his armor, um, and he gets his a like John Henry just gets his ass kicked. By the members of Intergang with these new Wakanda, uh, these new vibranium weapons, and he's like, "Vibranium? That doesn't belong here. Like, that's all the way from Wakanda." And he's already getting his ass kicked. He's trying to call his niece Natasha for help, but the the calm is damaged, so he's uh, he's in danger. So he has to like just retreat out of there. And Bruno's like, ah, "It's unfortunate that we couldn't use these on the Man of Steel, but we could use them on a Man of Steel." Um, they, uh, you know, a man pretending to be the Man of Steel. And Bruno's associate is like, you know, don't get cocky because, you know, these weapons weren't, e you know, easy to get from Wakanda. I should know. I've done this multiple times. And the only reason I'm helping you, man, you and the re you, Manheim, and the rest of Inner Gang is so I want to extend my territory into Metropolis. So we'll find out who that is like who the benefactor is later on for who's helping with inner uh, who's helping Mannheim and inner gang in a bit it's not who you think it is anyway it's about this time that as steel's repairing his armor he discovers that um t'challa has made a royal the royal king of wakanda himself along with the dora milaje have arrived in metropolis on a sudden appearance like just to be like hey i'm the king of wakanda i've never been to metropolis and i'm here on an american tour to you know see the greatest city in the world so john had like john's already like that's eh, a little sus <laughs> like wakandan weapons show up at, you know in metropolis and then suddenly out of nowhere the king of wakanda the black panther is now here hmm and he's got an armored group alongside him i might as well go uh, i'm gonna get some answers so he suits up. So John Henry suits up again, goes to the Wakanda, to the Wakandan embassy in Metropolis because if this is a crossover Earth, of course they have that, and he meets with T'Challa, and he and the, and uh, T'Challa is like, ah, you're st you're Steel. Um, I've heard so much about you. You know, another great superhero that has protected this city alongside Superman. It's a shame I couldn't meet Superman in person, but it's an honor to meet you know, the next best thing. So John Henry is like, look, your highness, I, you can kind of cut the pleasantries. I know you said you're here for like a 
peace, a mission of peace, but we both know why you're here. You're here for the vibranium that was stolen. And T'Challa's like, okay, how would you know about that? And he's like, well, because they shot me. And the people behind it was it were inner gang. Um, and I know inner gang. And he's like, well, thank you for the information, Steel. I can take it from here. And Steel goes, nah, I'm coming with you. Like, I am. Uh, I'm gonna be. Com- I'm gonna be tagging along on this because I know inner gang. I know, and I know this city. And I'm not gonna let my city be a t- be plagued by these weapons. And I'll be hap- I will happily come along with you, but don't think you're gonna go solo here in my city. So Black Panther agrees to ally with Steel, and the two of them follow a you know more or less follow a trail of uh, the connections that inner gang has throughout metropolis and at first steals like i'm surprised that you've you've made it so far without having LexCorp steal from them and i initially i thought it would be LexCorp using these wakandan weapons that the child says like yeah i thought it was LexCorp that had um been working with the guy i've been following and he's like well who have you been following and at that point that's when they both get shot out of nowhere and it turns out the guy helping bruno manheim and inner and the rest of inner gang is moses magnum you don't know who Moses Magnum is. He's a lesser-known uh, Black Panther villain that hasn't been around a lot. He's a big arms dealer. Um, they uh, like. I'm surprised they haven't used. Him, they didn't use him in any of the Black Panther movies. I think he'd be really cool. And it's kind of, kind of nice to have someone who isn't Claw or Killmonger in these in this kind of story. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. That's why I'm using like Manheim and Magnum. Um, so yeah, Man- uh, Moses Magnum is the other the Marvel villain that is here, and what is going on is that Black pa- that Moses Magnum wants to move in his his weapons that he's stolen from Wakanda and move them to Metropolis, sell them to Inner Gang, and maybe work his way up to like selling them to Lex Corp or even like the other uh, like some of the gangs in Gotham, and that's not going to happen on Black Panther or Steel's Watch. So the, two, so the two members uh, work together, but these weapons are really strong, and they actually, like, d- um, there's these new weapons got an upgrade. Mannheim and the rest of Inner Gang, because they do have Apocalyptian technology, uh, mixed these with, with Vibranium and made something that could even damage Black uh, T'Challa's suit. So the two of them escape, and they rebuild the armor with the help of Suri, and Suri actually helps work, she actually works with Natasha to rebuild and reforge their armor especially steel's armor now with a form of uh, vibranium in it and the two go back and kick some serious ass while there's another uh, before they can sell their weapons to lex luthor luthor of course dries his hands of it they manage uh, the Ma- moses and Mannheim both escape they both get away but several members of inner gang are arrested and by the end of it t'challa is like you know you're a great fighter, John Henry Irons. I think you, you know, I could, I could call you my brother in a way, and I would be honored if you came, if you left Metropolis and came to Wakanda and worked on our science in our science division. And John Henry's like, I am honored, Your Highness, but Metropolis is my home. But if you ever need me, you know, you can call. So the two leave in as brothers, and there's your story right there. So there is your Black Panther Steel story. Once again, I'd like to thank Chris for sending me this idea. This is a lot of fun to do. And yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below what you guys think of it. Um, this would be something that I could definitely see, like, um, Dwayne McDuffie writing. He would be, or Christopher Priest writing. I think this would be really, this would be a cool Marvel DC crossover uh, to see done. But you, anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of it? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.